Howdy folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with another Oztent RV accessory. Today, we've got the RV fly sheet. Now there's one of these that is specific for each RV tent in the range, so you need to make sure you get the right one for your RV tent. Now they're made with a ripstop nylon. The sides here are just green, but the top also ripstop has got a silver coating on it. Now a fly sheet does a couple of things with your Oztent tent. Now being a single skin tent in cold weather, if you don't have the fly sheet on, you can, de can get condensation right inside the tent. The fly sheet on top moves that barrier between the warm and the cold air further away and most of the condensation builds up on the fly. It's also seam sealed throughout so it gives you a bit of extra weather protection. In the warm weather, a fly sheet creates a buffer between the sun that's hitting your fly sheet and the sun that's hitting your tent. So it, it lessens the temperature inside your tent. I've got the RV4 fly set up right through to the RV1 at the other ends here. Very shortly, I'm gonna show you how to set up the RV5 fly on the tent in front here. One thing I will note though, that the RV4 fly is also compatible with the RX4 tent, and the RV5 fly is also compatible with the RX5 tent. This step over here, I'll show you how to set it up. Now each fly weighs about three kilos. This is the packet that they come in. They're all about the same length, about a meter by 10 to 15 centimeters in diameter. I'll show you what comes in the bag. So inside the bag here, uh, this is the bag at the front. It's all secured with a little strap. This is our fly sheet on the bottom. You get a couple of 1.6 meter aluminium extendable poles. There's seven guy ropes to set the fly sheet up and it comes with seven pegs as well. Now the first thing we need to do is grab the fly sheet. It's got a zipper on the top here. This attaches to the existing zipper at the top of our RV tent up here. So we've just got to get the orientation of the fly right. The silver side goes upwards. Uh, that is what reflects the heat. I've got my zipper here. I know where the start is here with a little long bit at the end of the zip here. Now I've got to be able to reach the top of the tent here. If you're a little vertically challenged, you can always drop this the, the tent down flat, zip it on, and then put it back up again. I'm reasonably tall. I can reach up over the top, so I'm just going to throw it over. It's a bit windy here today, so the fly is blowing around a bit, but I've just got to get the zipper started here and secured. I'll push it as far along as I can, just pulling the fly up as I go, and then I'll walk around to the front of the tent. And I'm just going to pull it up with my one hand as I zip it with the other. So that's all done up. Before I put any pegs or anything, I just want to make sure that this storm flap is stuck down on the velcro tabs here that just gives us water protection where the zip is so that's our zipper and storm flap in place what i need to do now is put the guy ropes on all the guy ropes come separate with your fly now you've got a couple of options here probably the best option to tie the guy rope on each corner is this little loop that's sewn in here there is also an eyelet on each corner of the fly I guess that gives you setup options. If you get extra poles, you could sort of pitch this out as a little awning if you like. But as the fly comes, there are a couple of poles that fit into these eyelets here just to separate the fly from the inner tent. And then we peg these out on each side. So I've got seven guy ropes to tie on in total. There are two poles to put in place. If we put them in now, they're just gonna fall over. So I find it's best to put all the pegs in place and then we can adjust it for the poles later. So I'll grab seven pegs and put them all in. So now we just put the poles in place. Now, I guess you could use it without the poles, but ideally what the poles are there for is to separate the fly from the main tent so that if any condensation occurs on here, it's not dripping on the tent and it also creates that buffer in between. Now I've put the guy ropes pretty tight. I might need to adjust them a little bit. So I just put the pole through the eyelet in the corner here, extend it out just so it sits up off the tent. So looking underneath here now, I've got about 10 centimeters of clearance. That is how you set up the fly sheet on an RV tent. It's a great accessory, extends the life of your tent because it keeps it out of the sun, gives you a bit of extra weather protection, and makes it a bit more comfortable inside. You can pick them up off our website at snowies.com.au for lowest prices every day and free delivery to pretty much anywhere in Australia. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, before you go, if you thought that was useful, you might be interested in our other Oz10 RV10 accessory videos like this one down here, or give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe to our channel, and you'll find out about all the latest and greatest content as soon as it's posted.